Signum, what does it stand for? Safety in great numbers. Unhurt men. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm now about to enter the Signum factory floor, home to dangers as well as high production levels. I have seen the safety induction video. I have watched it. And I'm now going to try and put it to the test and try and keep all my knowledge of safety around me at this point. And I'm looking, I'm not saying that I'm going to be looking for dangers, but there are dangers absolutely everywhere, I'm sure you can imagine. You've seen the safety induction video, it exists for the reason there are dangerous things around the place. Not just that lady there, Barbara, who's, um, who's rather safe and, you know, keeps things safe. Everybody and everywhere, you must be looking out for dangers, of course, because you love your families, you want to survive the shift, you want to get paid, you want to come back for overtime, you want to be here for Christmas bonuses, you want to get everything, so you want to survive the Signum experience. So. I'm starting here in one of the most dangerous areas. And as I look around almost every area, you can see around you the eyewash, the eyewash station there. They're, they're dotted around the place. Keep looking for them. There's always signs as well showing you what equipment they want you to be wearing. I'm wearing gloves already. I think you should always wear a hat as well. Not, this isn't going to protect you from heavy objects falling. It's only going to protect you from keep it, getting your hair in the equipment. But it's important to follow the tips and procedures that they let they set down for you here. That's an important thing. When you see a steaming vat of, of acid, think carefully about what it's doing. What's it doing? Why is it steaming? Is it hot? Can your fingers get burnt? You've got to be thinking the whole time. So there's a, there's a notice here for eye protection. Eye protection must be worn in this area. Please follow procedures. It's a very, very important thing to do. I was uh, repairing a conveyor system, which takes the board through processes. And I was taking like cogs off the, uh, the ends of shafts. have got a vise which grips onto the shaft. So you leave the uh, vise open just a little bit, put the cog in it, and then tap it with a hammer, and your bench is about a metre in front of you. So I'd have hit it, and then I smashed it, and I think a piece flew off, hit off the wall, and must have went into my eye, into the corner of my eye. So eye protection, hat protection, glove protection, all around, there's dangers that can affect you. There's, um, there's two basic parts of this video. The idea of how you can protect yourself and the idea of once there's trouble, procedures you can follow. So in an area like this, you can see the sharp things in the corner. You can see the sharp things there. Oh, they're so sharp. You've got to watch out for your fingers. There's copper linings and things you've got to watch out for. There's all these um, chip boards and plates. Um, that are very, very sharp. You've got to watch out for them. How many accidents happen from scalpel cuts, chopping off the corners of the, the copper corners? Hundreds the whole time. I was holding the panel, which had copper foil at the edge of it, and I was trimming the foil off with a knife and slid up the panel and uh, cut my finger on the copper foil rather than the knife. I would think there's a lot of cuts with copper foil, I would think, or, or knives or both. Well, in hindsight, I should have taken time to get a pair of gloves and. Um, I would have probably saved myself an injury. It's, it's hard to me. It's not just that, there's millions of other things. You know, um, things you've got to watch out for, not just your hands and your eyes, but your feet as well. All around there's things that you can trip over and you've got to be careful, just keep your wits about you. Here, ear protection must be worn. Follow the instructions. Never, never flagrantly laugh to your friends. <laughs> I don't need to wear earphones. Pardon? What? Exactly, you've lost your ears. So please, and if there's no access, don't go in there. If there's wires sticking out of the wall, don't have anything to do with them. Excuse me, trapped wind in your body, let it come out. Um, there are basic procedures to follow, and there are basic rooms you can enter, basic rooms you should stick away from, especially men staring at you. Can you see them behind you? Don't be intimidated by men staring at you. Keep away from them at all costs. There are, of course, health and safety stickers around the place to tell you what to do, things to follow. Don't be afraid to read things and be smart. It's only the fool that goes, I know everything, and doesn't get you know, involved in safety procedures and ends up with no fingers and hands. These men here you can see working so safely. Hello, sir, I see you working safely using all the protective gear. I like that. He's good. Behind me, you can see him working hard, getting everything done, making sure. Now, of course, there's fire, signs for fire exits wherever you go. You can see a fire exit behind me now. It's important to know where they are. Oh my goodness me, look at these gloves here. These are, there's a heavier duty glove, of course, that would, you'd always want to wear in certain areas. Certain glove is enough. This is a glove to grip. This is proactive safety. This is to help you grip the machinery. This one is to protect you from acidy stuff and on your hands. Hands are very important. Of course, you know, if you come across a terrible area or a terrible accident, they have some features here. Here's another main fire exit at this point in the thing. Uh, and this is a fire exit here. You must keep clear. One of the things they say is keeping the access clear so you can run free, otherwise you're tripping over stuff like that. I think it's up to the individuals to be aware of the, their surroundings, you know, and the, and the immediate dangers within the, the, the working environment. 
be smart, be on top of it all. And if you need to um, wash anyone's entire body from an acid bath and have a, have a plain shower, there's a shower there with one of the biggest shower heads I've ever seen. Look at that, can you imagine that? Cleansing water coming down, cleaning the body. So if something happens, don't be afraid, whip their clothes off, get them under the shower. <laughs> shower them clean. There's another eye wash thing. One that's been used, that's good, that's smart. That means somebody's on it already. Let's look for a man with streaming eyes. Yeah, keep your eyes peeled for people with eye problems. Oh, don't peel your eyes. Now, some science tell you a lot. Look at this one behind me, laboratory, laboratory. What's going on in there? Evil doctor sawing people's legs off. No, probably some work. Find out, be aware of what's going on in each area. If you're aware of every area of the factory and you're suddenly called to ru rush through or work through or walk through or be in another area, then it's good to know everything that goes on in that area. These things are piled up. We don't know what stage they're at now. Are they sharp? Are they hot? What's happened to them now? What are they being dipped in? There's um, signs here for hand protection because of corrosive materials. Perhaps you should find out what they are. Make sure you know how to treat each thing because there's, um, there's machines here with buttons, you know. Know what they do if you have to operate, you know. We have a box that we keep a scalpel in and I went to put the scalpel in like that and it stabbed straight into my hand there. Just because I wasn't concentrating. At the end of the shift, I was tired and I just didn't put the, put the scalpel in the box properly. Here's a perfectly safe corner. It's a nice place to come every now and then and just relax and take time out in your work to keep yourself together. Take time out to go to the toilet, wash your hands, make yourself fully fit as a human being so you'll be a better worker. It's always important to that. I'm turning a corner now. Coming around, never rush. Take your time. You're going around the factory. They'd rather you got there safely and got there far, far too quickly and risking danger. Here's the main thoroughfare of the factory floor where, some, where, where, um, where forklifts do come in. They come in fast, they come zooming up and down, they come through the doors um, and they're delivering stuff. Be careful, feet and hands. Adequate food protection is really, really important. Um, people pushing little things around, little trolleys, even that coming around the corner can be... So if you're rushing around the corner chatting to your mate, <laughs> and he's coming around that trolley, even that small trolley will hurt you. It was after I'd finished a job, sometimes it'll involve as many as 200 circuit boards and you put them on a trolley uh, and these trolleys that we have at the moment they're like a, t a two tier trolley you know and I placed all the boards on the top of the trolley which was actually silly I shouldn't have done that uh, and then I wheeled them down to dispatch and as I was turning the corner at dispatch there was a piece on the floor that the concrete had sort of come away on and the wheel of the, the, the barrel got stuck in that and as I turned it like that the the whole barrow tipped over with the boards and pulled me with it. Struck my head on the wall. Um, this part of my arm got uh, struck against the trolley and this part of my leg on my shin. If I'd been more careful, it might not have happened, but then the floor was in need of repair. So <laughs> it was a bit of both. Here's a big, big, long, I mean, I don't know what this does, but you have to find out what this does, surely. Make sure you know what everything is, everything is in the factory, then you know how to deal with any problems that happen and how to avoid them. Oh, it's the boss's son. How did he get that job? Just because his dad owns it. I think it's ridiculous. If you're not happy with something, ask the shift supervisor or say to him, like, I'm not happy about that. There's process engineers, you know, floating about the factory. Ask them, what does that chemical do? What will that chemical do if it reacts with that chemical? You know, etc. What does this do? What am I surrounded by? What exactly is this? The man behind me, he's wondering what on earth I'm doing. Maybe he thinks I'm an infiltrator. Watch out for people who look like they smuggled themselves in from other rival factories. So keep your, uh, keep, make sure you're aware of what other equipment does. And if you're, using a, if you're passing through other stations, don't get involved in other equipment unless you're highly trained to do it. Here, look out for signs. See the hand sign there? The terrible hand sign. Oh, the dinky hand. Watch out. So in here, it's corrosive materials. It's this acid. It can burn your flesh. It's hands. You've got to watch out for hot things, sharp things, acidy things, electrical things. The board was uh, 16 inches long. Took it off the machine, checked one side, front of my face, uh, flipped it round. Uh, of course, been too close to the board checking it, caught me with my mouth open and took out half a tooth, Sorry, albeit a fake tooth. <laughs> There's one enormous fire exit for the whole building outside in the car park. That's the, the gathering area, I seem to remember. Um, so whenever there's a fire alarm, you would, you would reach out in the corridor there. There's some keys left in that, um, in that locker, which is quite a danger in itself. Someone might net your car. There's other dangers all around. We've talked about hands, we've talked about eyes, we've talked about unauthorised areas that must be for a reason. 
We've talked about reading the equipment, uh, reading the signs, taking note of the health and safety aspects. Now, we haven't talked about areas of advanced noise levels. Now, there's some areas where they recommend that you wear um, ear protection device, and there's some areas where you must wear it. Uh, this is one of those areas. This is an ear protection area. Please don't be afraid to wear your ear. Over the countless days and hours of hard working shifts that you're doing, the hours and the noise and the decibels build up and they have an effect on your ears and they will, they will um, hopefully your ears won't end up you know, sticking out incredibly well like that guys, but they will end up you know, um, bashed. So you've got to protect yourself so you go home so you can hear your kids. They come home, you come home from work, hi dad, how are you doing? And you can hear them, it's a fantastic thing, it's a great bonus to be able to hear your, your, your family. Um, there's different kinds of fire extinguishers of course, cream, there's, um, what are they, there's the carbon dioxide, there's vaporizing liquids, there's foam, there's dry powder, there's water, know the fire extinguishers, know them so you can save others and help others, be a smiling, happy, productive, safe and above all, uninjured worker. Uh, lifting the materials wrong will, will damage your muscles, um, the chemicals that's on the lines will burn you. Um, working with sharp instruments, you get cuts, abrasions and stab wounds. You might want to look silly in things, you might want to play around with the machinery. I wouldn't advise it. Everything that you play around with must have a purpose. Why is it here? It's not been put here for no reason, so don't play around with the machinery. Well, the injury I had was uh, wrenching my shoulder, like pulling a trolley. When I came to pull it, there was no giving it, because the jack wasn't completely down line. And you feel the same pain, muscle or ligament, tearing. Um, Running, see how dangerous running is, look at this. See how running, running is bad. You know, because all these things, what have I passed by? In the past 10 feet, I've passed by these big things which have got, ooh, liquid in them, this electrical equipment, these low things that could have sliced my shins off all the while. And here's the forklift sign. There are forklifts happening around there. You see, it's in the main thoroughfare. So um, be aware of machinery, be aware of yourself, and um, you should be safe. Five months ago, uh, I was picking up some boards uh, through hole plating from a pallet and I just pulled it too quick, obviously, and just wrenched my shoulder out. Just, just pulled it and it felt as if it was coming out of the socket, but it wasn't even the socket, but I just up the top there. It was very painful. What happened really was my fault. I mean, I shouldn't have pulled the boat. I was, I just rushed it. I mean, that was basically what it was. As we follow these procedures, and be intelligent about it. I'm pretty sure that at the end of the day, there'll be no um, major calamities, and there'll be no um, serious injuries, and you will end up um, as a laughing stock of the factory, dragged out and with your, on a stretcher, or with everyone clapping, and ending up in the first aid room. It's a room you want to avoid. It's a nice room, it's well equipped. It's probably the best place to be if you're ill, but it's also the best place to avoid. So, think carefully, think on, think first aid, think medical, avoid it, think carefully, and you'll never end up here, a patient lying down, Thank you. Good luck. Work safely. Mr. Kay? Yeah. It's time for your medication. I don't need it. Get out of here. Let's have it again.